This is maybe one of those features, if you will, that I hope that nobody even notices that we implemented, because if we did it right, you won't even know it's there. But I also actually think in practice that it is one of the single biggest things we have done. And one of the big benefits that we have with NDI is that it's in use around the world by, oh, by millions of people now. And so out of those millions of people, we have seen so many network configurations, so many different topologies, so many different pieces of equipment that you couldn't imagine. And our goal with NDI has always been, and I've said this many times, is to work on the network you already have. And so when you now take a step back and think, okay, what are we trying to do with NDI? Um, what, we, what we do is really quite simple. We take an NDI source that could be a camera like we're using here. We're using NDI cameras. And you want to send it to an NDI receiver, um, like we're doing here, to produce a show like this. And so you're just transferring this data over the network. Now, what we have traditionally done is we've done this over TCP. Now, we've iterated this a few times based on what we've learned, and we introduced multi-TCP to allow it to take multiple paths through the network and get you more bandwidth. But ultimately, that is what we've done for all of this time, and it's worked remar remarkably well. And there are good reasons that TCP is just incredibly efficient for transferring video over the local network. But when you have hundreds of streams, they all end up s slightly fighting with each other. Which means, and it's also very, very difficult for the network switches to manage that bandwidth. And so while it should all work, in practice what we've seen is that as the number of sources, the number of channels, the resolution go up, that it becomes a real bottleneck. Now that's just on a single local network, but you think bigger picture, you start to think what does the world really look like? And you know, one of our goals with NDI was not just to have video between two local sources. Instead, we want it on this incredibly long connection that is thousands of miles long that might move from you know, my camera here to the cloud. Let's take it even further and think about all the other networks that are out there. You have Wi-Fi networks. These are networks that also have high latency, but they, they also allow for, it's very common that you have packets competing with each other for the wireless bandwidth. So that is a, a big problem on TCP and getting it to work well. Now, taking it even further, a very common problem we've seen as well has been where you start to see a connection between a part of a network that's low bandwidth and one that's high bandwidth. And this is something that in video is really, really important because what we want is that you can have endpoints, converters, you want cameras that can sit on the one gigabyte part of your network. That makes it much more affordable. It makes you easier to, inst easier to install. It allows you to run in the building you have. But then you want to connect it up to a 10 gigabit device, which might be where you're aggregating all these sources so you can do a show that involves you know, 10, 15, 20 video sources. And it turns out that this is actually a very hard problem. This conversion between network speeds when you're trying to simultaneously run lots of channels is actually very, very hard. So these are the reasons that we actually took a step back. We looked at the technologies. We looked at how we could deal with this. And we came up with what we're now calling reliable UDP, which is actually in large part based on the work that was done on Quick, which is really the, the, you know, the, the, the current leading long distance, high latency, wireless network approach to, to reliable you know, transfer of a network. So what we're seeing now and what our implementation does in NDI 5 is it connects these sources over our UDP. And that allows for so many you know, really beneficial things. This means that we can handle very high latency networks so that if you want to send it to the cloud or you want to send it over a wireless connection, it should work much, much better. But the really big thing we did sits on top of that, which is that when you have a large number of connections, instead of each connection individually trying to manage its own bandwidth and me just saying, well, this camera to this video production system, it, it's gauging its bandwidth, it's managing its latency, it's managing the packets that need to be sent on its own. We made it so that it unifies all the streams out of and into a system together and manages the bandwidth management across all of them at once. And the difference made by this is absolutely huge. And so this, as I mentioned before, is what allows us with NDI version 5 to truly adapt and have a very large number of streams all working at once, all working reliably, working really well on the network that you just have. So when you actually start to use this, I think the key thing is that, and this has just been my personal experience, when you're using reliable UDP with NDI 5, it just works better. 
And I feel very confident in saying that this is hopefully a feature that you never kind of know is there, but just makes your system work better.